Hello and welcome to another video. Now remember I was talking about the April 19th, well that's actually for the um, for the press and people that are whatever, you know, they got access. They get to see the, um, the cars first and I'm talking about the auto show that's going to be going on on the 21st for everybody to the 28th, roughly about seven days. Um, we get to see new cars, new innovations as well. So right here we have the Lexus ES, which is running in my background. You like that? You like them roads, right? You're not getting distracted. Can you see me? Yeah. So the Lexus ES is going to be on its next generation. And it's going to be just a minor lift, as this article has put it. So let's go over there and cover this real quick for you guys. I'll try to make it quick. I promise it's gonna be less than five minute video I gotta stop now though okay so here we are as you can see they compare the two it's a bit of a facelift not a drastically um, a whole overhaul of the vehicle and as you can see here they also comparing the rear of the vehicles there's very little done here um, obviously this is the F Sport but the lights and everything looks very similar I'm assuming and the trunk too looks like it's different right here hold on let me see yeah like the angle of the where the lexus sign right here is a little bit different than the 2021 model this is a little bit more subtle i kind of like this one better than this kind of reminds me of the freaking hyundai elantra elantra whatever the hell it's called it's ugly looking rear <clears throat> and then expect to see more electrification um, like I said, some companies are investing heavily on it. The Toyota electric SUV shows its face ahead of the 19 debut. You get to see just a little bit of it. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. And I, I dig those LED lights, man. I dig those. But there's another look. So Toyota always has like weird designs for their vehicles. But obviously it works for them because Toyota sells like hot cake. They're always going against with Honda. Like Honda and Toyota are like synonymous when it comes to competition. Every single trim that Toyota has, Honda tried to, to uh, duplicate that or at least try to make it better. Like, but when it comes to heavy duty truck, the Tundra is just gonna run circles over the ridge line let's be honest the tacoma same thing man i would much rather prefer the tacoma over the ridge line i mean no offense to the ridge line and, and all i love honda but i gotta go with the tacoma i got to get the taco i got to get it <clears throat> and then they have like little hold on one second let me just show you so here we are in both of their websites right so the HRV actually came out first, as I remember, and then Toyota actually retorted. Like they told them, "Hey, you got a small one? We got a small one too." The CHR. That was the Toyota's answer to the HRV, and of course, Rav4 and the CRV are very synonymous. And then um, the bigger one, the Highlander, has always been competition with the Pilot, and the Forerunner has been in production for like. A long time so Honda actually decided to bring back the passport so the passport is actually going hand-in-hand hand with the freaking RAV um, I'm sorry not RAV4 but the um, forerunner but I kind of like the styling of the forerunner a little better comparing to the passport <clears throat> and then when you go to like trucks Honda only has the Ridgeline sports cars and sex but that's out of anybody's price range it's definitely out of my price range because I can't afford that, but I can afford one of these supers though. Not that I'm gonna buy one because it's mm -mm, mm -mm. and then when you go to small cars, obviously the Corolla matches up with the Civic, and then the Insight might go with the Insight, it's kind of medium, so I, I would say like the Corolla Hybrid, and then the Corolla Hatchback, Civic Hatchback, but the Toyota one seems to be little bit cheaper comparing to the Civic to be honest and then you have your fit fit 
I don't know if it would fit. Maybe, maybe with a Corolla hatchback? Because it's a hatchback also. But then you have your Camry, which is a cord, you know, like everything just goes hand in hand. And then if you, when you have your fuel cell, which is the Clarity, and then, you know, obviously they have the Mira. Mira was the response to the Clarity. Like they literally just match up pretty evenly. And then the prices are very, kind of very, very close to each other. Except I think the Corolla is a little bit cheaper. Honda has been going up in price as of late. Like the Civic starts at 21,000. The Corolla starts at 20. But anyway, I told you guys this video would be less than t five minutes. So I lied a little bit. So it's a little bit over. Hopefully you are okay and you forgive me. I am sorry. Anyway, if you enjoyed, give it a like, subscribe if you're lurking. I appreciate the view as always. So have yourself a very lovely day.